Bye. Hi Natasha. Hi everybody. Hi April. Okay, we've got probably half the people. Oh no, we've got more than half. Nearly everybody connected now. Okay, fantastic. Oh, enjoy Master Chef. Oh, well <laughs> okay, fantastic. I think we have everyone now. Excellent. So today we're going to be talking more about the article that we read on Monday, in Monday's session, which was talking about uh, how we need time to daydream so that we can be creative. And it talked a lot about technology as well. Um, I think a lot of you were here on Monday when we were reading it. So could someone maybe give us a little bit of a summary about some of the points you remember or some of the important things that they mentioned? Luca. Yes, uh, the article uh, talk uh, about uh, smartphone, tablets, uh, the new technology devices that uh, as uh, in some way uh, stole uh, space at our uh, creativity. So uh, in the article, uh, uh, there are some uh, examples. Uh, uh, one uh, regarding a flight uh, company, uh, which has uh, proposed to uh, to the people during the flight uh, uh, to use uh, to, to respond at some questions instead to use uh, devices or better, uh, they could use only uh, devices like uh, like uh, the phones, not uh, computers uh, or, uh, or tablet. And uh, another thing that I remember is uh, that about the, the shocks, uh, there is a, a study uh, which, uh, which has demonstrated that uh, a lot of people Nowadays, uh, prefer uh, uh, an electric shock uh, instead to remain uh, around uh, 15 minutes uh, alone uh, in uh, with these dogs. With uh, they in, the, in the article, they they spoke about uh, daydreaming. Uh, so. Uh, for uh, for a lot of studies, these uh, these devices, these, these electronic devices, uh, stole time uh, at uh, our daydreaming. Yes, exactly. They don't help us, so they don't give us the opportunity to to do any daydreaming. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, but I will do it a little bit uh, what I have chosen to myself as the main point of this uh, article, which we had it on Monday. I think we, we talked about the idle moments uh, uh, and the useful moments of, uh, of them, of uh, idle moments uh, without involve, involving in some activity uh, related with uh, uh, devices like mobile phone and so forth. And uh, and uh, the main point I would have read about the attention system, which uh, involves uh, inner part and outer one. And, uh, and uh, we have to uh, figure out uh, uh, much uh, the early in your age, you will figure out how to use it, how uh, you will be more successful. I think. Uh, I think it's uh, the main point. 
Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Yes, we're putting a lot of attention outside of ourselves now. And the article was talking about having to put more intention uh, inside of ourselves or more attention on ourselves, I guess. Uh, Paula? Ah, uh, yes. And um, yes, the, the the writer suggested to um, to take some uh, free moments, uh, some uh, wandering moment uh, to improve our uh, ability to be creative and uh, to to have new ideas. And uh, one of the suggestion is uh, to take a, a break uh, on uh, and to take a shower. The writer said that uh, if you take a shower in that time, you can have a new idea and uh, you can solve problem that um, uh, you are thinking about. And another thing that I remember, they explained that we have uh, two kind of attention. One, uh, one kind is um, uh, the network, the, the resting network, and uh, it's a, a, a typology of attention that uh, we are able to use only when uh, we are at rest. And uh, we have another kind of attention that is uh, the active uh, attention that uh, we can use only when uh, uh, we are doing something. And uh, these uh, uh, this two uh, pat, 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 uh, pat work. No, yes, this pathway, sorry, uh, can't work uh, together. And so we need uh, to have different uh, kind of activity and uh, moment of rest to be able to use uh, our uh, brain ability. Excellent. Yes, exactly. We need to, to give ourselves time to use these two different sides and not just stay all on one side or all on the other side. Uh, Nikolai? Okay. Um... Uh, I um, understand from the article that uh, um, it says uh, that way of daydreaming is a more creativity way, uh, and uh, and um, uh, I uh, remember that uh, American. Uh, Spending are spending uh, ten hours a day uh, for media. I'm not sure if that is true, but it's 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 it's, it's very bad. So also I um, I remember that uh, some uh, people uh, did an experiment uh, where uh, where. Mm, uh, offer uh, they uh, they offer to people sitting without uh, activity or get shock electrical shock and uh, people chose the shock <laughs> okay so and uh, it's it, it, it's all. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I think this was one of the, the the most interesting parts about the article when they talked about this electric shock and the fact that so many people will choose to receive an electric shock instead of having to sit without a distraction or um, without anything to distract them for that length of time. Um, I thought it was very interesting as well. I don't know if you've all, all read some of the responses on the forum about this question, but there was lots of different kinds of responses to this as well. Um, I'm trying to see who's here and remember what everyone said, but it kind of went from, oh no, I would never get an electric shock that hurts to, oh, I get shocks all the time. It's not that bad. So I think Adam, you wanted to give people shocks instead of receiving the shocks. So <laughs> let's do, <laughs> which wasn't really the question, but anyway, <laughs> let's do maybe, a, let's talk about this first then. Uh, so if you had to choose between sitting for 15 minutes with no distractions, um, no phone, no book, no TV, nothing to, to, to keep you busy. If you had to do it for 15 minutes, would you do it or would you receive the electric shock instead? Paula? 
Uh, yes, I definitely prefer to stay at rest and having nothing to do than uh, the electric shock, actually. Okay. I, 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 Yes, I can't understand why people prefer uh, to have an electric shock just to be uh, focused on something. Uh, actually, I can't really understand the, the reason. I think that this is a sort of disease or <laughs> sort of uh, pathology. That they like pain, maybe, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> I think maybe it's just because it finishes quickly. The, they they get the the shock, the little pain, but then they can st keep looking at their social media. <laughs> yes, but uh, this is still a little pain, and so if you can avoid it, I think that you can. It's better to avoid it. I agree. I think, <laughs> April. Uh, actually, I don't understand why they give us these two choices between nothing doing uh, do nothing and electric shock why electric shocks why is it uh, why they choose that uh, possibility but of course i will choose uh, uh, not doing nothing but i mean i hope that i still can use my brain and uh, uh, that i can think that as i said i can daydream I can try to daydream because I, I, I don't think I, it is easy to daydream. I think it's also written in the text that uh, uh, nowadays uh, this daydreaming is not that easy. That is, uh, it is easier said than done because how can you do that? How can you do the, the, this daydreaming? I, I don't know. Uh, day, daydreaming means I think uh, that you have to think about something ple pleasant, uh, about yourself, about the past. I, ca I can't remember, I can't think that I have done that. I, 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 should, I should learn how to do that. That is more something, yeah, daydreaming is that the same, is it similar as just uh, meditation or is it something else? Do you really have to think about something pleasant or because in meditation, I think you have to to clear your mind. You have to focus on something that don't, that doesn't uh, uh, important. That isn't important, I think, in, in meditation. But in daydream, you have to think about something pleasant. Otherwise, otherwise it doesn't work, right? I don't know, but. Uh, of course, uh, I will choose uh, that 15 minutes doing nothing. And as, as I said, uh, I, I said Haiti, but it wasn't uh, the island Haiti. It is in Tuvalu that you have to, to do nothing uh, on Sunday, the whole day. You can go to the church and after the church, uh, you can just stay uh, resting at home and not doing nothing, uh, not even uh, reading or listening to the radio. I don't know. Is I think it is the whole day. But on the other hand, uh, uh, for the Jews, they have also that kind of uh, period because the, on Sabbath, on Saturday, they are also not allowed to do uh, anything, to do some work. So uh, they have to cook uh, the, the, on Friday everything. So on Sunday, uh, on Saturday, uh, they just eat it uh, and uh, uh, go to the uh, synagogue and after that uh, doing nothing also. Uh, okay, I I will stop here. <laughs> I think I have talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, April. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think, I don't know that daydreams have to always be pleasant. I think because a lot of them are just thinking about the future and what's going to happen in the future. So I think while it's nice if they're pleasant, I don't think they always have to be pleasant. I think you could just think, for example, ah, oh, when I, tomorrow would be, it would be great if this happens and this happens and oh, I have to do that, but that's okay because I get to do this. So I don't think it has to be necessarily um, just about pleasant things. I think it's, as, as long as you're not really focused on one thing, maybe. 
um, you're just letting your mind wander, I think it's okay. I don't know if there <laughs> if there's any rules about daydreaming or not. Um, Artem? Yeah, just uh, think about the power of electricity. What uh, power is of electrocution? I just uh, uh, I remember uh, that I took apart the lighter and uh, electrocuted my schoolmates. It uh, was uh, like you would take a shower, but it's not so uh, harmful to your health, actually. You are just uh, be more focused, getting more focused on a subject. Uh, I just don't know. Did you do this uh, stuff? Like uh, I have said, they took apart, take apart the lighter. Uh, I some uh, uh, the lighter uh, is uh, does uh, exist. There are a lot of kind of, but uh, with the uh, with electrocutions. Electric cushions. It's a uh, good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've never done it. Let's see if anybody else has, but I don't think I know of any lighters or I don't think I've ever seen a lighter that's electrical. Most of the ones I've seen have gas or are kind of uh, lighter fluids. So they're not actually, they don't actually have any electricity in them. So maybe it's a, a different kind that I haven't seen. Uh, Luca? Yes. Uh... I have to say one thing, uh, more or less I take one uh, electric shock uh, every time that I get off my car. I don't know why. Uh, in, during summer, always, always. So I'm uh, a little bit used to electric shocks. Uh, anyway, uh, me too agree with uh, others that prefer uh, daydreaming because uh, for sure is uh, is uh, healthy for uh, ourselves, uh, our brains, and uh, for sure uh, it can uh, permit our to to improve, uh, like person, uh, like people, uh, to improve uh, our uh, or also our ideas. Yeah, I, I I agree. I think 15 minutes really isn't that long um, when you think about it. So I think I'd prefer just to sit there for 15 minutes than to than to get an electric shock, even if it wasn't a very strong electric shock. I still don't think it'd be very pleasant. And who knows? The 15 minutes of daydreaming might be good. It might be interesting. You might uh, discover a lot of things or think of some really great ideas. <laughs> uh, Nikolai. Okay, um, I have a question. Uh, does no distraction mean no activity at all? I can't daydream in, yes? Be you daydreaming. can daydream, daydreaming, yes, but it means that you won't have things like a television or a phone or a book or there's nothing to distract you. Okay, but uh, I think... In a room with your thoughts. <laughs> oh, yes, I, uh, I think I... Um, I, I, I can be sitting there maybe one day. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's not difficult uh, for 15 minutes. It's not difficult for, for a day because it's interesting uh, thinking about something. Uh, I, I, seeing me, <laughs> you can Seeing, seeing, you can, uh, yeah, see, it's interesting, I think. Yeah, there's plenty of other things you can do, really, without having to use a phone or something else to distract you, really. Uh, Manu? Yes, thank you. I agree with uh, Nikolai because uh, 15 minutes are not uh, so, so long a time uh, for thinking about uh, whatever. I, I have... Um, um, I guess maybe people can't uh, be uh, uh, sitting alone for 50 minutes. It is because they have uh, an empty, empty mind, so they they can't uh, 
uh, they can't they physically can't uh, uh, think of or whatever because <laughs> else uh, you, you should be able to stay to, to sit uh, for just uh, 15 minutes and think of whatever or maybe they they are they they are afraid of uh, of uh, of getting asleep this is another uh, another guess otherwise i have not uh, answers for this uh, this behavior thank you okay so you mean you think that people who who wouldn't be able to do this who would prefer the electric shock maybe they're a little bit scared about what their brain will tell them or what they'll think about when they stop or well, they're so tired that they need all this stimulus from other things to just keep them awake and keep them going. If they stop, they fall asleep. Yes, exactly, Natasha. Okay, April? How long do we have to to have uh, that electric shocks, actually? Just <laughs> Is one, it shock. Also, <laughs> one shock. One shock only. Oh, that's nothing. But why, why should I do that? But I will tell you all the... A secret. <laughs> it has nothing to do with daydreaming, but about uh, electric shock. Uh, some years ago, that was uh, a, a hype. Uh, uh, yeah, still now also, but th at that time the hype was uh, uh, to use um, uh, some shocks like that. Um, and that uh, device uh, looks like a butterfly, so two butterflies. And it is to exercise your muscle. And uh, the, the intention is, the purpose of that device is, and in the pub publicity, it's to get your, uh, your abdomen, to have, to, to have you a slim abdomen. And I think, oh yeah, I, I, uh, I can do that. I can use that. I need that. So I buy that. I bought that. So that it's not it's not expensive it's just it's just it's just, <laughs> it's just a, a cheap one and uh, i think oh i can do that it is i think you have to do that 15 minutes you have to put it it is on battery eh? so you have to put it on your on your uh, uh, stomach on your abdomen and uh, it is it has an, a nap uh suck snap nap so it stays uh, uh it stick on your on your stomach and then you set it on and it started giving you a shock, <laughs> giving you a shock. My goodness, it's not, it's not pleasant at all. <laughs> yeah, Nadia is, oh my goodness. <laughs> it is painful, you know. I think I just only used two or three times and my, my stomach and my abdomen is still uh, sick. No, <laughs> it's not, it's not slim at all. <laughs> So, no shocks, no electric shocks for me. Okay. <laughs> yes, I wonder what the, the theory is behind that about why it's supposed to make you, you lose weight in that area. Maybe it's because you're, you, you um, contract your muscles so much from the pain that it's kind of like doing ab exercises or something. I don't know, but it doesn't sound like very fun. Um, something actually that I think April mentioned earlier as well about daydreaming, that she finds it difficult to daydream. And I wondered, does anyone else have this problem at a, as, as well? Does anyone else feel like they, they can't daydream or you don't daydream or you find it difficult to daydream? Luca? For me, is uh, is uh, quite easy uh, daydream because uh, it's not so so good to say. But uh, I drive a lot during uh, during the week, and uh, when I I drive for long uh, distances, uh, for example, uh, for three hours uh, or four hours, you or for me it's impossible to keep the concentration 100% for all the for all the trip so in in some moments i 
uh, I think I, I daydream or uh, some that is uh, very, very similar to the to the dream because uh, after uh, some after a few minutes you you come back uh, and you uh, you look the street and oh uh, I was <laughs> I was uh, I was thinking about uh, other things and uh, and uh, I I didn't think uh, about the street. Yes, you have to be very careful on this, but yeah, I guess it is an example of, of daydreaming when your mind kind of wanders and starts thinking about other things than the thing you're supposed to be concentrating on, really. Yeah, I think especially, yeah, especially if you're traveling for long distances, this can be very easy to happen um, because you, you have to concentrate on the same thing for such a long time. Artem? Yeah, it just uh, depends of what uh, are you doing, uh, actually. It's uh, also about our brain, how it's work. It's, uh, it's uh, our brain is very lazy and it's uh, too difficult to con he convince him to think in uh, one direction. And he will uh, come up with so uh, big uh, amount of uh, idea how you, to distract you of uh, do some productive thing actually or just uh, doze off uh, as much as uh, he can but he will do anything but to try avoid of some uh, uh, mental activity to think on some subject about something boring uh, actually and uh, when you just free and uh, don't uh, maybe just waiting for something uh, yes it's uh, very easy to just to go away and start start uh, dreaming okay so maybe this is a good question then um when you have to to wait somewhere so, for example, you have to wait in a line or you have to wait for an appointment or um, you, you have to wait for something to start, basically. And you've already ar arrived to where you need to be. And basically, you just have to sit there and wait until your name is called. During this time when you have to wait, what do you usually do? Do you usually daydream or think about things maybe that you have to do? Or do you use that time to, to do other things like check your phone or read a book or uh, use some kind of technology? How do you spend that time? Nikolai? Okay, so uh, uh, sometimes uh, I spend this time as I, 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 I can sing in as, uh, sing, 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 sing some melody. Uh, maybe I uh, uh, sometimes I uh, learn some words, but I, I think I usually use smartphone, but uh, without media. I mean, uh, without, uh, e sometimes I check my email, but uh, most time I, uh, I think about something, uh, creativity, maybe music, maybe uh, interesting words, maybe uh, some story about something like this. Okay, when you're singing, are you singing in public places as well, or is the singing more when you're just at home by yourself? Uh, just by myself, because it's difficult for me, some kind of difficult. Yeah, I, 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 I'm learning, I'm learning singing, and maybe I, sometimes I, uh, I can sing something for us. <laughs> or, I mean, 
something. Not, not for me. <laughs> okay. Yes. I wondered if you, for example, you're sitting waiting to see the doctor, and you were singing in the waiting room for all the other patients. I thought they'd <laughs> they'd be very entertained. <laughs> Yes, it's funny, but sometimes I, uh, what is uh, drum, some rhythms, uh, it, it's my main problem because uh, some, some people uh, see, uh, look at me uh, as uh, what is it called in English. I mean, it's a crazy man because I sitting in my leg uh, drum, drum, uh, I mean, <laughs> Uh, you tap your foot. Uh, unstopping, yes, 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 yes. It's, it's, it's crazy, maybe. Maybe it just depends if your shoes are very loud or not, if your shoes are making a loud noise. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> okay, Artem? Uh, I think... Uh... Uh, I can found uh, in this situation a lot of what, how to entertain myself. Uh, but last uh, uh, this, this days, uh, if uh, if I have a mobile phone, I will use it, and uh, I all the times carry with my friend with myself uh, headphones, and I would like to listen some music uh, in this. Uh, waiting time or just uh, uh, if I have a lot of energy and too difficult to sit or maybe I too long can uh, to get to some place and uh, I just uh, would be going from one side of the wall from one side of the room to another side of the room and make everyone around crazy just go around from <laughs> one side to another side and I think the worst uh, moment uh, to the people who is also waiting for some uh, people who gather maybe for the same purpose like as, as me uh, it would be if I have met on my way a uh, pen which uh, I don't know uh, in English, which click, click, click. If we will push on on the top of uh, the pen, it will make a, a sound like click, 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 click. I think it's a very annoying sound. Yes, this is a very frustrating sound for the people around you. <laughs> and the funny thing is, usually the person who's doing it doesn't realize how annoying it is until someone yeah. yells at them to stop. Stop that noise! <laughs> uh, Luca? Um, in my case, uh, what that I note is if uh, I'm in relax, uh, I... I take a few minutes uh, or, or I take time uh, for uh, today dream. Uh, while if I'm not in relax, I, I'm nervous or I have to, I have to do something uh, in, the, in the near future, okay, I, I can't or uh, for me it's difficult daydream, but I prefer uh, play with the with the phone or or with the tablet. One example is uh, when you are when I am uh, in the airport, uh, um, I have uh, make call uh, like the uh, put the luggage uh, like uh, greeted people. Uh, okay, in in that case uh, I I can daydream, for example. All, all or also when you are uh, under the shower is for me is another is another moment uh, uh, where you can daydream because you are in completely in completely re relax or also as I said before uh, uh, is not good but uh, while uh, while driving Yes, this probably isn't the best time to do it, but it does happen. I want to talk more about the shower thing as well. But first, I think Manu, you wanted to, to provide an explanation for Nikolai. 
Yes, thank you. Uh, I, I refer to to what uh, Nikolai uh, Nikolai uh, said about singing when uh, waiting uh, for a doctor in a queue. So I, I was asking Nikolai, but uh, by by singing you you mean you meant uh, uh, just uh, humming, uh, which is uh, going. Uh, mm -hmm, or maybe uh, uh, sing just with uh, actual words, the, the 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 lyric of the 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 sing the song you you know. This is my ah uh, not sing just going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I got it. Thank you. That's a wonderful explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do this a lot without realizing um, when I was a child and somebody who sat next to me, I only realized when the person who sat next to me said, stop singing. And I was in shock. I said, but I'm not singing. And they said, yes, you are. You're singing. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is another thing that can be very frustrating to other people, I think. Okay, so let's go back to the, the shower question then. They mentioned in the article that um, if you needed to solve a problem or you needed to be creative about something, that taking, um, taking a shower can, can help you, can give you time to daydream and you can solve your idea or you can figure, figure out something. But what do you think about this? Has anyone tried this idea before? Did it work? Nadia? Yes, Natasha. Um, I'm not completely agree with this. I think it's not in the shower itself, but for me, if I have something to solve in work or even before while I'm stud when I were studying, I have to think of it first. I'll do all the tries that I can, I can to solve it. And then if I finished with all of that, I just leave it and maybe in the next morning or even in the same day after hours it's like if you open a lamp or something it's just come up i think it's the internal brain that they speak uh, spoke about it in the article uh, last time because maybe something in the background still going on i don't know how but but i have first to try myself and do all the choices that I have to solve something and if I couldn't then I leave it sometimes it happened to me that it just come up like this easily okay so you think maybe maybe your internal brain does solve these things for you but it's not quite so easy as um as just taking a shower or something like that. You have to first really think about it so that your internal brain has all the, or your internal attention has has all the information maybe to, to make a good decision and to solve this for you. Okay, what does everyone else think? Do you think a sh the shower is a good place to, to daydream? Or what is the best place to daydream? April? I think a bath, take a bath is uh, better than take a shower to daydream. But it doesn't work at, uh, for me. We, I don't have bath in the past, yes, but the, uh, now I only have shower. So, uh, and it doesn't work. Uh, that, like today, uh, when I took a shower, and um, instead of uh, daydreaming or get something resolved, I got another question <laughs> another problems and i think okay after the, after the shower i have to do that that is that is what i was thinking when i took the shower and then after the shower i forgot what i what i was i what i was uh, decided to do and now also i have to think now what what is, what have i decided when, when i took the shower so it is that it doesn't work for me and i think maybe in uh a bath, so I said a bath is a, bit, a better place because you are more relaxed. 
uh, um, in a bath, you do nothing also. Just uh, uh, half lay down there. And in, in the shower, you have to be careful because otherwise uh, you will get uh, uh, soap in your eyes and uh, uh, the water is too hot or, I don't, or too cold. I don't know. So it is, it, it is more concentrating, concentrating than uh, in bath. And I think, uh, sorry to say that, that is, I think a lot of people will agree with me. If you go to the toilet, that is also, because I also always have, uh, I always have uh, books uh, there. And uh, this is it's a place to relax actually there. I think, <laughs> sorry guys. It's okay. I think um, Manu and Martin were already discussing that actually, <laughs> that this was a, a good place to, to dream. <laughs> Paula, do you or do you have a different place? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, actually, I don't have enough time to daydream when I take a shower because I'm very uh, fast when I take a shower and so it's not a, for me it's not a, a good place to daydream. Um, as Luca uh, I drive uh, at least one or one and a half hour a day and so driving it's uh, for me one of the best uh, time to daydream and to wandering and the other one is before to fall asleep I'm, because I'm relaxed and so it's uh, one of the my favorite time uh, uh, to daydream but I can confirm that for some people especially men I think the toilet is uh, one of the best place uh, to daydream, to wonder, to think. And uh, actually my husband had uh, uh, his uh, brightest idea in the toilet. And so I, I can confirm that for some people uh, it's the best place. Ah, so that's why people take so long then. It's because it's their, <laughs> it's their daydreaming time. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, Emanuele, but I think that uh, men's, uh, men are more prone to spend a lot of time in the toilet than uh, women, <laughs> at least in my experience, but I can say for everyone. Okay, um, Artem, you wanted to add something. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, I have a friend who spent a lot of time uh, in, the, in the toilet. But uh, according to me, I just uh, uh, don't feel my legs in a few, <laughs> a few minutes. And I, I have no idea how to stay, start dreaming there. Uh, my favorite place, it's not place, it's... Uh, uh, it's uh, rain when it's raining outside, and I would like to be in my uh, balcony or in my uh, country house when everywhere is raining and this raw air, and it's a little bit at night, in the evening, and I think that's a very the best place to dream. Uh, and actually, when you're alone. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. That's something that we haven't really talked about, that maybe the the weather or where you actually are physically. So maybe if you're at work or if you're outside or inside or if it's daytime or nighttime, because you can still daydream during the day. It just means that you're awake, not necessarily that it's daytime and the sun. So, okay, do you think this affects um, daydreaming then? Whether, if you had to pick your perfect place to daydream, would it be inside or outside? Would it be sunny? Would it be rainy? Where do you think would be like the perfect conditions to daydream? Manu? Well, uh, I like uh, go outside uh, strolling uh, 
having a walk uh, outside maybe also when uh, it is rainy it is uh, the, the wet the rainy weather to me is uh, really inspiring so when i go relaxed uh, strolling uh, outside i i i have a great moment of uh, of uh, daydreaming i like i like to go without a purpose uh, uh, walking around and uh, if uh, it isn't uh, sunny but uh, it's rainy sometimes i prefer i don't know why but it is so with me thank you yeah i think sometimes um walking around kind of helps as well as long as you're not maybe listening to music or doing something else at the same time but sometimes just walking around or doing exercising yeah or jogging as well um, when you're doing these kinds of activities outside that can give your brain maybe a little bit of extra energy to to dream up things and to imagine things as well Nadia yes Natasha I'm sorry, I know that I asked last time about daydreaming, but now I'm confused. Well, when you're daydreaming, what you do exactly? You think of future or you just think of the things that you will do tomorrow, today, real things. So, I mean, what is it exactly? Um, I would say really it's kind of like thoughts that you have that aren't related to what you're doing at that present time so like I think it was Luca who said um, he, he does it when he's driving so instead of thinking about driving he's thinking about other things um, it can be things about the future mostly it's things about the future but it could also be things about the past as well it could be imaginary things that you know would never happen they don't have to be real things um, it's just kind of like a story basically that you have in your head that take your attention away from from what you're doing in that minute or what you're doing um, but you're usually awake when it happens. So it isn't something that your brain is doing by itself. You can kind of control it a little bit and um, and decide what's going to happen next in this story or this dream that you're having. So you have a little bit more control over it. But uh, yeah, we talk about your, your mind wandering as well. Like when it's just um, thinking about lots of different things. So you can think of a daydream as being like that as well. You're just letting your brain go where it wants to go. You're not forcing it really to concentrate on anything in particular. Does that make a little bit more sense? Okay. Um, Art? Yeah, just... Uh... Also, uh, get a little bit confused when uh, your what uh, your token was you were uh, talking about uh, uh, dreaming uh, while you uh, are doing some activity, active exercising like uh, you have mentioned jogging, running, uh, jumping. Uh, according to the article, it's uh, uh, external attention system, I think, but uh, uh, I just uh, can imagine uh, myself when I, I just, uh, when I'm running or going somewhere um, with full attention to my moves, what I, where I go, what kind of, uh, how speed, how quickly I run, I just uh, can to start dreaming, I have to be calm and sit and don't involve my body to go. Maybe just strolling a little slowly, I can start. But uh, the duration of dreaming, it won't be last uh, long if we will compare to just sitting in a chair and just in a few minutes you can get to sleep. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so for you then, for daydreaming, you need to be very relaxed, very quiet, very calm, um, being active and doing other things. That isn't going to help you daydream then. So I just uh, uh, relate uh, dreaming to inner part, uh, not uh, to visual, to your eyes. I think it's about what are you thinking, about imagination, not describing your circumstances. Like this car uh, help past me, the another was after this one. You are describing something about that. But when you are imagine, I was talking about it. Some new world. Is it? Yeah, it, it is about your thoughts, but I guess you could use things that you're seeing around you to, they could enter in your daydream. So if you're walking down the street and maybe you see a, a really expensive car, maybe you could say, oh, look, there goes my, my, um, uh, my butler or my driver. Oh, he's taking my, my car out and letting me walk for a while. Oh, he's so nice letting me do that. You know, that's a way that you use something that you're physically seeing, but you're kind of daydreaming about it because it's probably not your car. Well, yeah, it's not your car. <laughs> and you probably don't have a driver who's driving it for you. But, you know, you can, um, you can use that time to kind of dream and make believe about maybe something that could be true. Probably not going to be true, but it could be fun to, to think about. Okay, so another question a little bit different for everyone. Do you think we should be trying to make more time in our day to, to do this kind of daydreaming? Do you think it's it's important for creativity or for other reasons to to deliberately make time to without any other distractions just to to let your mind wander and to let yourself daydream? Artem? I think uh, not uh, too often we have to spare time for this activity, but we don't have to forget uh, to do this activity. Not just, uh, I think, uh, 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 according to me, I do like to think, do I live proper way or not? Maybe something need to change in that kind of way. Because uh, if you will, uh, life is uh, running so quickly and we should have some time to just uh, have a breeze to think about do I live, do I, uh, what I'm do what I'm doing is easy what I wanted to do maybe there is a time to change something I think this uh, uh, time this uh, kind of uh, thoughts is the best for this activity. Thank you. Yeah, they can be important to to kind of dream about your future and how you want things to be and maybe about whether what you're doing now is going to, to get you to the to those dreams, whether it's going to help you achieve those dreams or not, so that you can maybe change things in your life or change things that you're doing so that you can can achieve those dreams. Luca? Uh, yeah, I think uh, that uh, daydreaming is positive when you make uh, daydreaming in the positive way. That is uh, one of the most difficult things in the life, I think, because uh, in my case, but uh, I think also for a lot of people, uh, the normal life is uh, stressful and uh, a lot of time your daydreaming is about uh, episodes that uh, that were very stressful or negative for you and uh, after uh, these episodes you you think about uh, that oh for example uh, 
uh, during the work uh, your, your colleague uh, make angry you and then uh, in the few days uh, in the next few days you think about this uh, for me the, is not positive is not positive for your brain and is not positive also for your uh, for your body because the brain and body uh, work together and uh, the secret is to for me is to make uh, brain work in the positive way but uh, is is difficult is very difficult and in this moment, uh, I can't uh, do this uh, uh, all the time because uh, a lot of times uh, if I think about something negative and uh, and then uh, after a few minutes, uh, I come back. Oh, OK, Luca, don't think about this. But uh, your brain uh, go, uh, goes uh, goes away. Yes, it thinks about, it. <laughs> wants to think about it. Doesn't always listen to what you tell it to think about. Um, maybe this is why, as well. I think April and some others mentioned that sometimes these dream daydreams are more like nightmares instead of dreams, because they they can be very negative sometimes. <laughs> uh, Manu. Yes, I agree with Luca. I think uh, uh, workplace is a, a place where uh, you you get very stressful, uh, frustrated, and uh, is a, a, a place where I absolutely ca can't uh, daydreaming. I have uh, to uh, to fo forget uh, as soon as possible the the workplace. So when uh, I come back home, I like uh, to to enter a, a new reality, which uh, sometimes in my case uh, is uh, reading uh, books, uh, reading books which uh, um, uh, really um, um, uh, take uh, my attac attention and uh, I, I get uh, a big pleasure to, to keep reading uh, these novels. And um, sometimes uh, my daydreaming is um, may make uh, as if uh, I were a character of the novel I am reading. So it's uh, like um, living in a, in a new reality, which uh, is uh, the way the antidote, my my preferred antidote against the frustration in workplaces. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I've done this as well, actually. Kind of had daydreams where you imagine you're, that you're either a character in the book or maybe you're inside that world that the book is turning is talking about. I think this is probably a, a common way to, to daydream, actually, because you don't have to think of all the details yourself. You've already got something to, to base your daydream on. Uh, Mena? OK, hello, guys. Hello, Natasha. Um, uh, I just want to say that uh, I, I heard before uh, when, <laughs> hi Nadia, uh, when you are, when you have a, a hope or a dream in your life or we can say a goal and uh, you, you want to, um, you want to achieve it. Uh, I heard that when you imagine yourself, uh, for example, in a, a specific uh, position you, you want to reach, uh, you, your brain uh, uh, help you to uh, achieve um, uh, your goals, okay? When you imagine yourself that you achieved uh, uh, that uh, dream or that hope. Uh, so I think it's a kind of uh, a daydreaming. Um, and that kind of um, imagination, uh, I think uh, daydreaming uh, is a, a positive uh, thing. Um, did you get it? Yes, definitely. Kind of like positive thinking and imagine that you're you're reaching your dreams can can help you get there. I agree. I think it's a, a good way of daydreaming or a positive way to daydream, really. Yes. Um, Rory? 
Yeah, I, I agree with uh, all guys. Uh, they covered uh, all my point. So I agree with uh, them. It's uh, important um, if you want to manage in your mind or manage your plans. It's an uh, important time. And uh, if you are uh, busy all the time, uh, you need the uh, uh, dreaming day or dreaming mind to um, think about your future. And um, if you have goals, you want to achieve it. Yes, it's it's um, it's important to do it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Nikolai. Oh yes, uh, so yes, I um, I am agree. I agree. I agree with uh, uh, the dreaming uh, should be maybe positive, but some I mean uh, sometimes it's uh, it's good if uh, it's it's ne not negative. It's melancholic. Uh, I'm not sure what is the quote in English. So and uh, like a sad, sad kind of dreaming. Yes, it's it's not distraction sad. It's sad. It's good sad. I mean, there is. And uh, I think uh, good place. Uh, I'm I'm not, I missed this. So good place. Uh, maybe some of musical instrument because instrument because it's it's nice. Uh, Press keys you know, or something else and uh, thinking or uh, dreaming about something. Uh, so it's all. <laughs> okay, yeah, sometimes I think, uh, was it Luca who said sometimes if we're really stressed or something like that, maybe these daydreams aren't so happy. Um, because we're thinking about serious things or problems or things like that and maybe that would make our daydreaming a little bit more sad or not quite so happy or just kind of excited about the future. Maybe then they'd be about other things. Um, Artem? I just uh, wanted to add uh, something to Luca, Luca's picture about the positive thoughts. Yes, uh, he is right. That, uh, it's a good uh, uh, thing to keep a uh, positive attitude toward uh, your life or your activity or whatever. But uh, there is a, uh, something uh, uh, which you have to be aware if you will uh, uh, keep uh, a positive uh, those for example tomorrow they would never happen but it's uh, happened let's say uh, you have to uh, uh, be positive towards uh, toward uh, think uh, which you may uh, change and uh, and do some stuff and put efforts in that to do not just sitting oh everything will be great it's a positive attitude have to have to go next to the actions. Exactly. It's not just enough to think about it. You have to actually do something about it as well. <laughs> I, I just uh, uh, remind and uh, 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 I don't know which uh, precisely section uh, uh, when you, Natasha, uh, have mentioned your uh, Classmate, uh, he didn't mention his name. Who, uh, who wanted to be as a, a volleyball player, and uh, his father was a coach, and, but his son was uh, too short, and but he was desperate to accomplish. You have to, uh, to know that uh, your uh, height, is it his height, it was not enough to be successful 
Yeah, it, exactly. The fact that you're, it's it's not just enough to want something, but you have to have uh, a way to get there. Really, <laughs> just wanting it really badly isn't going to make it happen. Okay, guys, well, we're at the end of the session for today, but did anyone else want to add anything before we finish? Any last ideas or comments or anything else you wanted to say, April? So I think that uh, the purpose of this daydreaming is uh, uh, to, to uh, freshen our brain, to be, to, to make it clear, to clear your mind, right? So, and I don't think the uh, daydreaming is really a useful uh, method to do that. I will think that the kind of mindfulness uh, during the, your work at five minutes or 10 minutes mindfulness uh, exercise still is, uh, you can do that also. I don't know if it's better or, or, or worse. I don't know. But uh, the children now uh, in some schools here, uh, the children from the basic uh, school, so 10 years, 9, 10 years old, um, uh, they get a time, a relaxed time, 10 minutes a day. So the, uh, between the lesson, uh, um, sometimes uh, the teacher lead uh, the, the, the children with uh, uh, instruction to how to to breathe and how to uh, make your mind clear and and uh, uh, another things to do is also doing uh, playing games uh, just not 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 uh, uh, games on your telephone on your smartphone and eh? no this is uh, some uh, some games uh, it's good to to relax your brain actually because if it's the purpose to just to uh, refresh your brain and uh, come back again with the, um, a fresh uh, mind and you can um, continue studying in the class uh, with uh, a better uh, thought then then is it uh, not uh, yeah not uh, daydreaming Day daydreaming is more difficult i think but uh, this this kind of uh, method i think it's uh, it's more effective and it's more easier to do like mindfulness is like a kind of meditation so you have to breathe you have to uh, to uh, relax your arms, you re relax your your uh, uh, legs, uh, kind of that. I think that, yeah, they started with that uh, uh, relax time. They called it relax time uh, one, uh, every day uh, for the small children. And the children said that uh, it helps. Yes, I wouldn't mind some of that relax time in my day, actually. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, Mena? Okay, um, I just want to say, uh, say that um, uh, maybe uh, daydreaming uh, is considered uh, um, a negative uh, thing. Uh, when you imagine uh, things uh, and you can reach, in, uh, reach these uh, uh, dreams or things in uh, reality. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm, I mean <laughs> that uh, uh, you should be a, a real person, I think so. Yeah, maybe you need to be realistic about it and maybe the daydreams are more useful if it's about realistic things and not about turning into a dragon or <laughs> flying to the moon or something like that, something that's not realistic. Adam? <laughs> I just wanted to make a joke if you will uh, uh, dream to walk, you will reach enlightenment <laughs> at some point. <laughs> like Maybe, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Well, we might finish here for today then. Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope it was interesting. And remember, 
we've still got the forum, uh, the topic open on the forum as well. So if you haven't, go and check out some of the things that people have read there. It's very interesting and leave some, some more ideas as well, especially about the the electric shock about whether you'd prefer to have the electric shock or to to have no distractions for 15 minutes okay because that part's interesting <laughs> okay thank you very much everyone and talk to you later in the week don't forget to hit the red button to hang up bye everyone bye devices like mobile phone and so forth and uh, and uh, the main point i we have read about the attention system which uh, involves uh, inner part and outer one and uh, and uh, we have to uh, figure out uh, uh, much uh, the early in your age, you will figure out how to use it, how uh, you will be more successful, I think. Uh, I think it's uh, the main point. Take care for the back. Thank you. Yes, we're putting a lot of attention outside of ourselves now. And the article was talking about having to put more intention uh, inside of ourselves or more attention on ourselves, I guess. Uh, Paula? Ah, yes. And um, yes, the, the, the writer suggested to, um, to take some uh, free moments, uh, some uh, wandering moment uh, to improve our uh, ability to be creative and uh, to, to have new ideas. And uh, one of the suggestions is uh, to take a, a break. About uh, smartphone, tablets, the, the new technology devices that uh, as uh, in some way uh, stole uh, space at our uh, creativity. So uh, in the article uh, uh, there are some uh, examples. Uh, one uh, regarding a flight uh, company uh, which has uh, proposed to uh, to the people during the flight uh, uh, to use uh, to, to respond at some questions instead to use uh, devices or better uh, they could use only uh, devices like uh, like uh, the phones not uh, computers uh, or uh, or tablet and uh, Another thing that I remember is uh, that about the, the shocks, uh, there is a, a study uh, which, uh, which has demonstrated that uh, a lot of people nowadays uh, prefer uh, an electric shock instead to remain uh, around uh, Hi Natasha, hi everybody. Hi April. Okay, we've got probably half the people. Oh no, we've got more than half. Nearly everybody connected now. Okay, fantastic. Oh, enjoy MasterChef. Hello, <laughs> okay, fantastic. I think we have everyone now. Excellent. 
So today we're going to be talking more about the article that we read on Monday, in Monday's session, which was talking about uh, how we need time to daydream so that we can be creative. And it talked a lot about technology as well. Um, I think a lot of you were here on Monday when we were reading it. So could someone maybe give us a little bit of a summary about some of the points you remember or some of the important things that they mentioned? Luca. Yes. Uh, the article uh, talk uh, uh, on uh, and to take a shower the writer said that uh, if you take a shower in that time uh, you can have a new idea and uh, you can solve problem that um, uh, you are thinking about and another thing that I remember they explained that we have uh, two kind of uh, attention one uh, one kind is um, uh, the network the the resting network and uh, it's a, a, a typology of attention that uh, we are able to use only when uh, we are at rest and uh, we have another kind of attention that is uh, the active attention that uh, we can use only when uh, we are doing something and uh, this uh, uh, these two uh, pat pat uh, pat uh, pat work no, yes, this pathway, sorry, uh, can't work uh, together. And so we need uh, to have different uh, kind of activity and uh, moment of rest to be able to use uh, our uh, brain ability. Excellent. Yes, exactly. We need to, to give ourselves time to use these two different sides and not just stay all on one side or all on the other side. Uh, Nikolai? Okay. Um... Uh, 15 minutes uh, along uh, in uh, with these dogs with uh, they in, the, in the article they they spoke about uh, daydreaming uh, so uh, for uh, for a lot of studies this uh, these devices these, these electronic devices uh, stall time uh, at uh, our daydreaming. Yes, exactly. They don't help us, so they don't give us the opportunity to, to do any daydreaming. Uh, Artem? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I will do it a little bit. Uh, what I have chosen to myself as the main point of this uh, article which we uh, had it on um, Monday. I think we, we talked about the idle moments uh, uh, and the useful moments of, uh, of them, of uh, idle moments uh, without involve, involving in some activity uh, related with uh, uh, 